it is a general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below All right, so Cancer, in your feelings, you have the Page of Swords in reverse. So you could be watching this person from a distance, spying on them, keeping an eye on them, waiting for this person to come to communicate towards you. You want to communicate towards them, okay? You want to talk to them, but you're just suppressing your the truth from coming out, okay? Because I think you're waiting for them to come towards you first. What's the Page of Swords in reverse? Nine of Swords, yeah. You're stressing a lot about this situation, having sleepless nights, and this could be probably because there is no communication between you guys. But the Nine of Swords is all, you know, like it's like keeping you up at night. You know, it's like what I'm getting, you're overthinking and overanalyzing this entire situation out here. Will they come back? Will they communicate? Is it over? Is it done with? You know, uh, a lot of negative thinking, okay, which is keeping you up at night. You're suffering in silence is what I'm getting. It's like you really feel the need to talk to them, but you're not going to because you want them to make the first move here. One more card for Ten of Cups and Rivers. Yeah. This has been a relationship that made you very, very happy. Okay. That once made you very, very happy is what I'm getting. You guys once were in an emotional commitment. Okay. You were finding a lot of contentment with each other. But for right now, I think you're focusing and keeping to yourself rather than this relationship because you guys are just not on the same page. This is a situation that is emotionally draining you out and you're just not happy out here. Yeah, you're not investing into this relationship right now because there's been a fallout here. It's like a relationship or a connection that does not make you happy anymore. Okay, a lot of disappointment around this. All right. They feel the six of wands in reverse. They feel something didn't work out between you guys. Something was a lack of success. There was a lack of victory here. Why? Why is the six of wands not in their feelings? What's the six of wands? Wheel of Fortune. Although they would like to move things forward here, okay? They could be waiting for the right time. They could feel that luck was not on their side and... Things were just not changing. This person is waiting for the change. But yeah, till then, they're going to keep their feelings to themselves. <clears throat> the page of cups in reverse is someone, you know, who has a lot of deep, deep, deep emotions for you, okay? This person uh, wants to apologize. They feel a lot of deep, immense love for you, okay? But um, they're not expressing it because of their mature immaturity or because of their inexperience. I mean, this person themselves does not know how, how hard they've fallen for you. Okay, they don't realize that the, the depth of the attraction or love they have towards you. But this is a very shy person, right? And right now, they're struggling to let, to be vulnerable or struggling to reach out here. Why? Because it didn't work out in the past. I feel this person is waiting for things to change. They're waiting for a significant change. They're waiting for the universe to intervene and make like a huge shift happen between you guys. Okay, but till then, they're not wanting to communicate with you. The sun in reverse is how you view them. So probably you view this person as someone who is egoistic or someone here who's just lacking hope and faith in this connection or looking at the situation in a very negative light. You know, someone who's uh, having a hard time being optimistic about this entire situation here. Sun in reverse, please. Why is the sun in reverse? With the hermit, you see them as someone withdrawn, completely withdrawn, silent, uh, not talking. There's been a huge disconnect between you guys. This person wanting their space, they're needing their time, but they've completely cut communication with you. Okay, they just want to be on their own. They don't want to face anyone. They don't want to be in a relationship. But they're single right now. Is how you view them and someone who's just ghosted you. One more card about how Libra view. Uh, sorry, Cancer, but you could be dealing with a Libra. One more card for how Cancer views this person. Three of Pentacles. You guys, you, so, so Cancer, you think you guys can be really badass together? Yeah, you guys can really make shit happen, okay? But the problem here is that this person is too isolated right now and which is leaving you in the dark, okay? You just have no clarity about the situation. There's no communication and that's why the Nine of Swords, that's why you're constantly, you know, um, literally manifesting negativity or negative thoughts 
Okay, you're manifesting this into reality because this person's com- you. You just have no idea about what the fuck is going on. You know, you feel you guys can work together, but this person just refuses to open up, and there's a lack of clarity, lack of illumination out here. <clears throat> How does this person view you? Is the six of cups? So they view you as their soulmate okay you could have a significant difference between you guys could be a significant age difference could be uh religion could be um distance the way you guys were brought up religion difference whatever but they view you as they have the sweetest thoughts with you they view you as a past life connection or a strong soulmate connection okay what's the six of cups why is this how they, this person views cancer Tell me more about how this person views cancer. Tell me more about how this person views cancer. Three of swords in reverse. They probably see you as someone moving on. They see you as someone who's super hurt. Okay. They know you're very hurt. You're going through a lot after this breakup, after this separation, whatever has happened. But they see you as wanting to heal and move on is what I'm getting. Or this is what they want with you. They want to heal this connection. One more card for how this person views cancer or this connection. Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, they view you as someone who's just not giving them the, the attention right now. Maybe earlier you were very passionate about this person, okay, and very attracted to them and you were trying to move things forward. But right now they see you as someone who's holding back because of which there's a lack of forward moment. See you as someone not communicative also, but I'm getting more like this person sees you as someone who's lost the attraction and the passion that you had for this person once upon a time. I'm getting, for some people, you're no longer committing to this situation because we have the Hierophant in reverse. It's like you don't feel like this is your person anymore, okay? It's like that kind of realization is what this person has. That you're no longer being committed to them, no longer uh, feeling that spiritual connection, you know, no longer feeling like this is your person, stuff like that. Tell me why is all this happening? Is a death here? Yeah, because someone needs to change or there's a huge transformation or an alteration to someone's thoughts. Uh, thinking or like a certain mindset something needs to end here okay with the death here what's the death or something ended here give me more cards why is all this happening tell me more about why is all this happening knight of swords in reverse okay yeah my God. So there has definitely been an ending out here, okay? But the problem here is that someone needs to make a decision here after this ending has happened. Hmm? <clears throat> Whatever ended between you guys, it was a huge phase, okay? It was a major phase of your life. This is not a cycle that ended, okay? But with the death here, this is definitely a relationship. So I feel that there is a need for a, a situation to end, okay? Or again... This could be a transformative purging of something that is in the way of you and this person here, you know, wanting to come back together. The old needs to die and the new needs to come. And now this can be in the form of a person who's completely transforming itself or this person's thought patterns, old patterns, their approach, their behavior, you know, how they were dealing with the situation. But with the death here, this is what is the need of the art. This is why all this is happening. This is the root of the issue here. But the problem here is that I feel that there's one person here who's just avoiding making a decision. Someone's ignoring a decision here because either they're fearing making the wrong decision or due to fears of change or due to fears of being vulnerable here. Because with the Knight of Swords in reverse here is what I'm getting that someone's determined on wanting, uh, determined, determined on holding back from the truth being out, from expressing the truth. I don't know what's wrong with my English. So, yeah. Something needs to end here, okay, with the Ten of Swords here. Like, there is a cycle, a pattern that needs to end here with the Death and the Ten of Swords here. We have two strong cards, okay? The Ten of Swords is the minor arcana for the uh, Death card here, right? So, we have both the cards here. So, something definitely needs to end, okay? Whatever needs to end, this is someone here who's holding back from that transformation, okay? I, we have the death here, but I'm still getting someone here who's resisting some kind of inevitable change on a physical level, on a 3D level, or on a spiritual level, okay? Someone's refusing change or fearing change, refusing to transform, yeah? 
this person knows that in order for them to move forward towards you there is uh, something that they need to do which is going to push them out of their comfort zone but they refuse to do that okay and that's what they're holding back that's the root of the issue out here um the empress wanted to come out someone definitely sees you as their um wifey or their husband whatever it doesn't matter about the gender but someone wants to see a future with you for sure the action you plan on to take into us this person is the ace of swords What's the Ace of Swords here? Give me more cards about the action that Cancer plans on taking towards this person they're dealing with. Give me more cards about the action Cancer plans on taking towards this person that they're dealing with. Give me two more cards. Cancer, when it comes to you, <clears throat> now this can go two ways, okay? The Ace of Swords is communication, but this is also mental clarity. I feel you are very clear about what you want, okay? The Ace of Swords is more like cutting through the bullshit here, okay? So I feel even if this person comes in towards you with, with some kind of communication here, which I have a feeling that they will, I feel you're cutting through the bullshit, okay? You will probably talk and communicate or you're hoping and wanting to clear the air with this person, okay? Wanting the truth. I feel you're even wanting closure here, okay? But you're going to be like very point black honest with this person, very blunt here, okay? And I think you want closure here. Or this could also be um, a new beginning. You're hoping for a new beginning here. The reason why I'm telling you this could also be, this could also be is because we have a lot of people watching this video here, okay? So I have to give out a lot of stories and scenarios here. Take what resonates here. But I feel that when this person comes in, you're not going to make a choice, okay? Because you're still not sure. You're still not sure. You're the king of wands in reverse here. So yeah, I feel that you're not taking action towards this person because you still don't have enough confidence and security within this person. I don't think you're moving towards this person here, okay? But if this person does come what come towards you, I think you're going to be ready with um, what you want to communicate with this person. I feel more than anything else, more than communication, I feel this is you just having clarity about the situation. You're very clear in your head about what you want, okay? It's like no fucking around. It's like you're no, you could be very going very back and forth about what you want to do about this person. But when you realize that this is a situation that is going nowhere or the situation where you're getting the bare minimum and, you know, this person just takes more than they give, you're just clear and you're not wanting to pursue this person anymore. OK, but again, at the same time here, I don't see you as someone who's making a decision. You're still stuck. OK, you're not still not making a decision here. You're still choosing to stay in your comfort zone or staying in a place where you don't want to take a risk yet okay three of cups is the action this person plans on to taking so this person definitely wants a reconciliation with you it's on their mind give me two more cards for the action this person plans on taking towards cancer nice give me one more card Mm hmm they're coming back this person is planning their return back with the three of cups the queen of pentacles and the eight of cups in reverse here this person is wanting to come towards you and wanting to invest into this connection they want to get back to you they want to get with you on the same page but they definitely have this um in their energies of wanting to give you something uh more solid more committed okay I feel this person could also be viewing you as someone who was the rock of the relationship all this while. Yeah. Or this person, I think when they come towards you, right, they want to truly invest into you. Yeah. They want to you know, nurture and care for this connection. And I think they finally want something traditional with you is for sure. The Queen of Pentacles is not really an action card, right? But I feel it's more like that stability and security that they're ready to offer you now. They know yourself. They know your worth. Okay. And... Uh, Whoa, whoa. They know your worth and they're wanting to come towards you, okay, with a more practical approach. Something more sustainable, something more tangible. You on the other hand here are literally just not wanting to pursue this person. But then you're not even letting them go. 
I don't see you choosing a new path as yet. Maybe you're just hoping for clarity, okay? And once this person comes in with the clarity or the closure, here you're done. Because all you, all you want is communication is what I'm getting. Like, talk to me. Tell me what's going on. Like, why did this happen? You just want a lot of answers is what I'm getting. Okay, the fool here. Why is the fool here? This is the best possible outcome. So, yeah, there is a new beginning here between you guys. What's the fool here? Give me two more, outcome, two more cards for the outcome, for the spread. Two more cards for the outcome, for the spread. Wow. Did you see that? That that card just flipped like that, right? It was um, upside down. Wow. Okay. I'll take it. Definitely you have someone here who's coming towards you, okay? With the two of cups here, there's a strong ass connection between you guys. You both love each other. You both are on the same page. This is a soulmate connection. They want to take a leap of faith with you, Libra, okay? With the Knight of Pentacles here, the only problem here is not really a problem. The only thing out here is that things are going to be very, very slow, okay? You're dealing with someone who is very, very slow to commit and is in no rush, okay? Unlike the Knight of Wands who wants everything done yesterday, this is someone uh, can't be rushed, Okay, patience, persistence is what is uh, something that they're wanting to put into this uh, situation here. Okay, but they're moving too slow towards you. Yeah, this person is used to being in control. Okay, so they, they like to take their own time. They don't give up, but um, it's like for them, they believe slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, so this one, this is someone here who wants you deep down, but they will not make you, they will not make you a priority. Okay, because their priorities could be probably work, money, career, business, family, and tons of other things. Okay, but you could feel like this situation is getting dragged again, but they're coming in, but their intentions this time, they have an intention while they come towards you. Okay, whilst you on the other hand here, I feel you're not going to do anything about it. Once you get the communication, you're just going to keep things on hold is what I'm getting. Yeah, that's what you're going to do. You're going to keep things on hold when this person comes in towards you because they see you as wifey material. They see you as husband material, whatever it is. They can't walk away. They tried to walk away. They couldn't, but they're coming towards you wanting to invest into you because the love is there. It's strong. Okay. And it's not only them, it's you too. Okay. Who feels the connection here. So it's still alive. But this is their intention towards you, okay? So they have an intention when they're coming back towards you, for sure. Yeah. And I feel with the death card in the Ten of Swords here, something very um, significant is ending in that person's life, okay? Again, it could be a thought, a belief pattern, or an approach, or whatever it is. No more wishy-washy is what I'm getting. No more wishy-washy. Just, it's the right time here with the Wheel of Fortune. You know, they're waiting for things to roll in their favor. And that's when they're going to come in. Okay, so yeah, that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.